Okay, so we're given here that we have a triangle, G, J, K, right? So this is our triangle. I, I mark those letters off as I'm working with it uh, because I, I always lose track of where these things are. But if I mark them, I get a sense of what's happening. So I know this big shape here is a triangle. And then we're told that line HM, I mark that, is parallel to line JK. And you can see that in the diagram, right? So we've got a triangle with two parallel lines. We want to prove that triangle GHM is similar to GJK. So again, I, I go through this for myself. GHM is here. We're proving that this smaller triangle is similar to this larger triangle, G. J, K. All right, so you have to think, you know, what are your given tools here? What are you given to solve it? And since we're not given really anything about the side lengths, it's kind of a hint to go for the angles here. And that's exactly what we'll do to prove this. We can prove that these two are similar by using the angles. So we're going to go for the angle, angle, angle postulate, right, for proving similar triangles. So we want to start with some given statements, right? Um, I guess I will start with the triangle statement. That we that G J K is a triangle, and I'll put that that that's given. And a big step then is the next one that H M is parallel to J K. That's also given. Now, when you have um, right two parallel lines crossing the same line, so when H M and J K cross this line down here G K, these two angles have to be equal. Right? This is the basic idea of, of parallel lines. So here, right, we have two lines that are parallel crossing the same line. Corresponding angles are equal. So we can write that angle HMG is congruent to angle JKG, right? JKG. And this is because corresponding angles right, are equal, this is corresponding angles, and this is based specifically on the parallel statement here. Next, uh, we can do a similar thing, um, just look at it the other way. Now going up, HM passes GJ, right, and JK or KJ, depending how you read it there, it's now going up, also crosses the same line. So these two angles are equal. Right, so now we can say angle um, GHM is congruent to angle GJK. And you can write again, that's because corresponding angles right, are equal. And that's also directly from uh, the parallel line given statement. And the last one uh, is one that's always, I, I don't know, I just enjoy using this one. This angle is equal to itself, and this angle here is in both triangles. So we could say that angle HGM, that's the angle in the smaller triangle, HGM is congruent to JGK. JGK. And that is the reflexive property, right? And now, since we have three angles equal to each other, we can say that the two triangles are similar. So triangle GHM is, con is similar, excuse me, not congruent, but similar to triangle GJK, and that is by the angle, angle, angle postulate. All right, hope that helps.